What's going on, guys? Venomous Batman here, Shift2.com, Out Loud Media. At Florida Supercon, I'm hanging out with Marilyn Gigliotti, and I thank God I didn't ruin it. So, how you doing, Marilyn? It's a pleasure. I'm doing really good. So, tell us, you know, you're out down here at Florida Supercon. What have you been up to? What are you doing here with your booth? What's new? Well, I'm, I'm happy, actually, to be down here in Miami. Um, I've been to Florida, but not this far south. Um, so... Let's see, I'm here promoting Alien Armageddon, which is an independent film that I did about uh, two years ago. Uh, it was on video on demand, um, but now you can buy it on Amazon, from what I understand. You might be able to get Blockbuster as well, but I'm not positive on that. Um, but, uh, you know, with all the sci-fi stuff out, it's like, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Alien Armageddon? Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then I've also done, uh, about four years ago, Dead and Gone, uh, another little kind of, um, uh, suspenseful horror kind of a movie. Uh, and right now some other things are kind of in the works, but I don't like to talk about them because like, every time I do... Secret. No, it's just, I feel like I jinx it. Oh, really? Oh my god, yeah. Wow. And, and... You know, in the entertainment business, it's like, especially when they talk about independence and things like that, at the 11th hour, anything can really happen. Um, you know, especially in this day and age of, the, of, you know, financial crisis and all that kind of stuff. It, people say that we're coming out of it. I don't think so. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's hard to get the funding for what you need to do and stuff like that. Uh, you know, and... Even though we've got the uh, 70s and the 5D cameras and the Nikons where you can actually film your own uh, film uh, on a pretty low budget, it's still it's still going to cost you money. So it's kind of hard, you know, to, to say that it's like, oh, I'm going to be doing this, and then all of a sudden at the 11th hour, it's not happening. So I just like to make sure, because I've actually been on a film that, at the 11th hour, and I'm talking the 11th hour, it just kind of fell down. You know, so. Cool, so you mentioned Alien Armageddon, you mentioned Dead and Gone, you also have here little clerks, I you know, a lot, of, a lot of fans of clerks, I myself as well, you know, <laughs> tell us a little bit, you know, when you were making that movie, what was like one of the hardest things for you actually filming clerks? The hardest thing for me, and it's like, the, I mean, I can only go by what pops into my head at that moment, was the last scene that I had um, where I was pretty much telling Dante to fuck off. <laughs> Putting it lightly, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, because that, that was, I mean, it's dialogue heavy stuff. So I'm having to like really get into it and it's like doing all this stuff and it was, it was kind of hard to have that run all the way through without any kind of mistake, you know, verbally or something. I mean, as you can tell, it's like, I trip over my tongue a lot. Uh, so that's just something that I do. Uh, so it, that was one of the hardest scenes for me to kind of get through and be able to do a really good take all the way through. Awesome. Pretty cool. So we're down here at Florida Supercon. Obviously, this hasn't been the first convention you've been to. No. So what is your favorite thing about conventions? You know, going to them, meeting the fans, mingling. What is it that really does it for you? Meeting the fans? Um, for, for me, it's... it's a little bit of a sense of validation for what you did because you always will question what you do as far as you know was it good enough um, I feel I've grown as an actor but you know you just never know it's like you're always going to question whether you, you did enough um, whether it was believable whether you know all that stuff so it's a little bit of a validation for me um, this is fun this is just really fun too. It's like watching how creative people can get with their costumes and things like that. Um, I've gotten to learn a lot about some of the genres that I didn't know about before. So it's all really good. It's really fun. Um, so, awesome. so, you know, before we wrap this up, you know, what is the next thing that you want to do? Or what, is there any like particular movie type of part or type of character you have yet to portray that you actually want to do sometime down the line or in the nearby future? You know, at this point, I'm just trying to get work. <laughs> we all are trying to get work. work yeah. Um, 
But the fact that so far, some of the characters that I have portrayed already are pretty different from what people do know me for, especially in Alien Armageddon. Um, I, the director, writer-director Neil Johnson, I really thanked him a lot for giving me something that was just totally different to show a different side of me, a little bit more drama. Um, and I think that's what I hope to have with whatever other roles that I'm given, is that hopefully there's something different, um, not just comedy, not just drama. I mean, I grew up in sci-fi horror, so I kind of like that genre. But that's really all I hope for, just more work. Okay, cool. So, again, it's a pleasure talking to you. It's amazing. I hope you have a fun time. Thank you. Know, again, big fan of, you know, Clerks and everything else. I'll be back with some more coverage from here at Florida Supercon. Peace out and stay up, everybody. Talk to you soon. And we're out.